Hello everybody, Aaron from Victory Glass. Today we'd like to show you a new tool that we've developed to help you diagnose issues with the keyboard on your Seaberg jukeboxes. Uh, this is uh, currently available for testing electrical selector units, uh, again, AKA keyboard, on Seaberg models A, B, C, G, W, R, and J. So the device is powered by a nine volt battery and the way it works uh, is you plug in your 27 pin Jones plug and your 8-pin octal plug, uh, both coming down from your jukebox's uh, keyboard, aka electrical selector unit, as Seaberg calls it. And this allows you to test all of the uh, number and letter keys, as well as testing your start switch, hold contacts, select light, latch solenoid, and counter as well. So to start off, we have the 9-volt battery in here, and we can hit the battery test button, just to test to make sure our battery is good, and it is. So let's go ahead and plug it into this uh, M100B uh, selector unit and see how it looks. Okay, so let's show you how the device works. So you'll see we've got our Jones plug and our 8-pin octo plug connected at this time. And on the left side, you'll see there's a button labeled uh, coil and bulb test in the bottom left. Now this button is used to test any of those circuits that should have continuity at this point. Uh, in other words, the select light, the latch solenoid, and the counter. So if we press this button, you see we've got indication on both the select light and latch solenoid, so we can see at a glance that those are uh, showing a complete circuit. The counter, however, is not. Um, and I guess that's not totally surprising. The counters many times have been removed or disabled. Um, so we're not going to worry about the counter, but it does show us that that's not uh, showing a circuit, connect circuit either, complete circuit. Now uh, above there, um, you'll see these LEDs are labeled start switch and hold contacts. And normal operation on a Seaberg key, uh, keyboard is when you begin pressing a letter down. So right now I'm just pushing uh, the, the letter A down. Just as you start to press, that hold contacts uh, indication should uh, come on. And as I continue to press, you'll see um, a light came on over here in the group section. So it's interesting the way Seaberg had these wired. It's a five by 20 matrix. Um, so the first five are your groups. So you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, H, and J, K. And then down below, you've got 20 LEDs. Uh, the first half um, would be your A group and the second half would, is the B group. And then on, on the second group, C, D, you've got your C group on the left and your D group on the right. So in other words, uh, if I press A1, I see it on that side. But if I press B1, it shows up on that side. But uh, So let's go back to A1, and this is a good indication of a potential issue. So as I move the button uh, throughout its travel, we see some flickering going on on that LED. Uh, so that indicates right there uh, that there's a connection issue within this keyboard on the, um, the A1 uh, combination. So, uh, you know, which obviously will result in inconsistent selections, uh, whether it's with your original pin bank or um, if you happen to have one of our solid state pin banks as well. That'll be a problem either way. So it gives you a good indication of the health of the, of the connection. Um, but anyway, uh, then as you press the, the, the combination of letter and number, you should see um, in the top left, the start contact should illuminate. So uh, that helps diagnose issues with, you know, with uh, write-in um, or issues with our free play adapters, uh, you know, and a variety of other problems. So, uh, so this tester really lays out uh, very cleanly um, the, the visual indication of all of your, like look here, if we look on C3 is really bad. So again, this is a handy tool for you to have in your toolbox uh, if you're in the repair or restoration business, um, or if you're just uh, simply looking to diagnose a problem on your own machine and you're not sure where the problem lies. Uh, uh, this, this device will help you with that. So if you have any questions, reach out and uh, let us know. Uh, we currently have them available just for the pin bank models. So that's A, B, C, G, W, R, and J. Uh, but we're also working on uh, a model for the Tormat uh, series jukeboxes that follow as well. So that will be coming soon. Uh, but the theory of operation will be basically the same. So thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions.